perfect intro to, to this video. A lot of cyclists coming past. But hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I am on a electric e-bike. And uh, this company called Jin e-bikes, they are based here in the UK, in Reading. They reached out to me and said, listen, um, would you like to uh, check out this bike, um, ride it for a few days, and then uh, uh, give some feedback on it. So I thought to myself, that sounds to me like a great plan. So uh, I picked up the bike earlier in the week, and um, I've been uh, doing a few trips into the office and back, so that's about 40% um, gravel road and then the rest road and um, I just want to give you guys some feedback so um, just a quick overview about the company they are they are called Jin e-bikes you can find them on the web and I'll link all that information down in in the description um, this is um, the Jin X uh, 250 watt e-bike and they also do the 500 watt e-bike so this is the this is the base model and this is a hybrid bike um, as you can see from the from the tires it's a um, it's a it's a, 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 a city commuter and also a country com commuter slash it's not I wouldn't say mountain bike um, but it's a mountain bike style and mountain bike ride feel but it's a hybrid bike but the key thing about this bike is the price man um, I've, I've had a look at some, some of the e-bikes available now. And yes, uh, don't get me wrong, you can, you can get really cheap e-bikes that is hand-built or you can buy the kits and you can slap it on a normal bike. But the overall package that you're getting here for this price is absolutely amazing. So this 250 watt um, bike comes in at a thousand pounds. And um, the, the 500 watt motor, so, so if you want more power and more performance, that comes in at 1,300 pounds. But check out the website. Again, I'll link it down in the description below. Um, so this bike, for 1,000 pounds, you get such a lot of good e-bike for your money. Um, the other thing that I like about the company, they are local, they're based all the components it's not custom components it is all standard components so they design the frame um, but the shocks the brakes the mud guards the um, the motor even all the electronics and stuff it's all locally sourced and that's sort of the key thing for me so if you need spares or whatever you can buy it from any um, cycle shop or anything like like that but um, let me stop, um, stop this and then I'll show you around the bike and we can go through, through from the front to the rear and I can show you a little bit closer um, what the bike is made of. Okay, so uh, let's start here in the front. Um, as you can see, it's got um, CST Jackrabbit tires. Um, I filled them up to 40 PSI just as a start, but you can see the tread. This tread is typical for light gravel work and then also... Um, on the road and um, I do quite rough um, gravel next to the canal and this stuff has been um, really awesome on the grip side it also comes with a standard with a front a front front light on the newer versions this front light is going to be upgraded to be even more powerful but the front light also includes a little um, horn now that is ideal for for sort of riding next to the canal or the towpath um, or in the city where there's a lot of a lot of people and they and they can't hear you um, the shock is um, you can uh, uh, adjust the preload and um, that works very well and it's also got hydraulic discs now um, I thought for that price they're gonna do cable but these guys are doing hydraulic discs and you need a bit of stopping power for an e-bike that that is uh, this powerful so there you can see the, the brand, Gen, Gen X, um, for, for this bike. Going further to the front, they've got nice soft handle grips. This one has got the throttle as well, so you can, you can throttle to go forward and even kick off, so that's quite nice. This is the little, um, uh, 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 this is the little uh, switch gear that you uh, turn the bike on, 
you um, increase the pedal assist and decrease the pedal assist on that one nice and simple there's the zoom hydraulic disc brakes levers they work nice they're super smooth and and they are powerful see it's also ce approved that's quite cool as well moving to this side they've got the, the shimano shifter nice and easy you push forward to change the gear clip down to uh, lower the gear very straightforward the the screen as well in the front nice and big clear and um, it's very solid there's there's no wobble to it this is the stuff that i like you know it's sort of the build quality of the bike it's just really really solid for for this type of money and so this is the 830 s830 screen moving down now as you can see the bike is shaped with a low top tube um, the thing is as this bike is a, a all round all round bike it really um, makes it um, ideal for a wide range of people to actually ride and this is what I like um, I had um, what, about six seven people ride this bike and from a guy that's six foot one to um, my wife that is that is that, that is not on the tall side and um, it is just easy for them to lower the seat get on, on on the bike because that top tube is 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 angled at that lower angle it just makes it um, accessible to so many people and that's the key thing i like it's um from the photos the bike didn't um have have this uh, striking appeal but man in real life this bike really looks nice you know i had i had a few guys at the office as well ride the ride the bike and they were super super impressed by the looks and how and what you get for this thousand pound okay moving down nice spike pedals again solid there's no rattles that's what i like nice chain guard on the front chain 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 ring so that keeps your if you commute your trousers and stuff out of the chain they also quote this chain is a rust free chain chain so that's also cool like that um this one has got the additional um uh, 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 pannier pannier box uh, or a pannier rack so that's also quite nice and also the mud guards um the mud guards for me mud guards is very important in the uk especially keeping just keeping the dust and also then rain and muck off your clothes and stuff while you're cycling so moving further down the bike as you can see everything is nicely tied tied down it doesn't wob wobble it doesn't rattle and that's sort of the key thing moving to the back you've got your altus shimano altus derailleur and um, this is again this is the key thing about it it is easy to replace it's standard mountain bike equipment nothing special if you want to upgrade it you can upgrade it um, and the and the replacement is going to be fairly cheap the same with the cassette at the rear it's a standard cassette nothing um nothing um, specially crafted that you have to wait for spares for months and months especially now getting stuff imports from the from europe or wherever you buy it from it can be just a pain so there's again the cst jack rabbit super nice tires i'm very impressed with this tires this tire is a or the or the wheel is a 27.5 um, inch rim and it's 2.2.1 inches uh, wide so it's the standard mountain bike rim as well so you can you can put tires on you get a wide range of tires that you can use on this bike super super nice very very easy um i would have liked to have a little bit of a ch a, a a chain um a, 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 a chain protector because when you do do a rough stuff this thing hits this um, guardia it's just a, a bit of rubber but you can pretty much um, get um, 3m tape does a a a rear stay protector and that's that's definitely worth installing if you go for this bike just to keep it in tip-top condition um the seat post nice quick release lever up and down the seat is also adjustable this is the standard seat you get the um, additional seat that is a little bit wider for more comfort 
um, but it's also you can adjust it forward and backwards and you can also um, adjust the tilt so if you l like to ride the ride the seat flat or a little bit up or a little nose nose down you can do that um, moving to the rear there you can see quick thing the um, the battery is housed in this down tube here um, it is no rattles no problems at all at the at the bottom of the bike that is i'm just going to lie the bike down just give me a second okay so at the bottom of the bike you have a fuse you have a key and you've got the on off switch okay so this whole thing is sealed and you can then lock your battery in place that's quite nice as well so you unlock it and this whole tube battery comes out works brilliantly so that's the down tube um, they did say that they're busy working on a cover to even uh, protect to go uh, under the back so, so so to cover this whole battery system here so if you do um, uh, uh, do a bit of rough terrain or hop over anything that this battery um, cover is more more protected okay moving to the other side Let's quickly go through the menu system. So very straightforward. This is what I like as well. There's no frills to it. You know, there's, it's an it's e e-bike to get you going as quickly as possible. Hold down the, the, um, the M button that starts up the screen. The screen is also very quick to start up. And as you can see there, 49% um, left. I have done about, what's about, what's about, 25 say 25 almost 30 miles now and i'm sitting at 49 percent so again here you can see the mileage if you press the center thing you can change it to trip you can then go back to the voltage it's a 48 volt system that's the time ride time and your um odometer meter so where you can go on the up arrow very straightforward again increase your speed your pedal assist more assist um great assist and boost mode no, not boost mode but that's that's full assist on the motor now i've been using it in uh, three and four um just because if if the terrain is quite rough um, you don't want too much assist because it sort of um, just just jumps jumps around too much um, on on rough gravel terrain and again the thing that i like about it if the terrain gets rough um, you can actually then stand, stand up in the pedals and use the, the throttle to just um, carry you over those um, little bit of sections where it is it is not that great so yeah press and hold powers off so very straightforward e-bike no nonsense right at the rear you've got your Bafung 250 watt motor nice and and uh, secure at the back now the other thing that i just want to mention about this bike um, and 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 if i compare it to a few of the other uh, bikes this bike um, uses a tesla um, equivalent cells so it is a really nice um, um solid mo um, 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 sort of battery 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 pack that's also sealed the controller board is is located here on the top so it's nice and um, away from all the weather um, you can also see if you look down here this is the charge port so you've got two options you can charge the bike you can charge the, the the battery on the on the bike or you can slide this out the whole battery the whole battery out and you can um, you can charge it inside your house now the other thing that is amazing about this bike is this thing weighs 19 kilos and with the battery removed the bike is um, I think what, what, what I think it's about three to four kilos I think it's about 15 kilos now compared to other mountain bikes or other bikes out there electric bikes the stuff becomes very heavy and uh, and a bit of a beast to maneuver around and this sort of again plays into the hands of the bike being accessible to more people the weight on the bike is for me just amazing it is it is it is it is just really great that 
that there's a, a, a wide range of people that can actually then use the bike and then can also uh, maneuver the bike around because that's, that, that sort of becomes a, a bit of a problem getting the bike on a bike rack. You know, most of the bike racks now, this, um, this e-bike specific bike, bike, bike racks where, um, and, and, then, and then also you need to just think about all these other things where this bike can just go on pretty much any bike rack because it, it, it is not that heavy. Over 20 kilos then it becomes um, a, quite a, a beast to maneuver around. And also because it's got that um, hub motor at the back, it is super easy to, even if the, if the, if the battery is flat, to just use the gears and cycle on the, on the bike. Really nice and easy. Now, another thing that, is, um, that I'm happy about, especially for UK, is this bike has got IP66 rating. Now, that is high pressure uh, water um, uh, uh, rating meaning that you can ride this thing in the rain and this is for me again absolutely key you see um, most of the stuff that comes from um, from 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 china or or wherever um, they are built for good weather that's perfectly fine but unfortunately here in the uk if you want to use this bike day in and day out for commuting then you're going to need an IP rating. And that is for me absolutely brilliant that this bike at this price point comes in that you can just ride it anywhere you like and uh, you're going to be, be fine with the mud guards on. Absolutely brilliant. So that's, that's a big, big plus, plus, plus point that you don't have to worry about stuff being... Um, um, you know water ingress and then your bike is going to die now this bike also comes with a five-year warranty that's for me great stuff so you don't have to worry about if anything goes wrong you can just contact the guys on whatsapp email and whatever and there's also really great accessories so let's talk about the accessories that i've just um, seen on the website they do a suspension post that gives you a bit of a short suspension um, sorry, a seat post that's got suspension in. Um, they do a wider seat, more comfort, if you need more comfort. They do, as, as you've seen, the bike, the, uh, the uh, pannier rack, and then they do panniers on the side, soft um, luggage, so that's also quite nice. As you can see, it's got the, um, the mud guards on, that is really nice and solid. Um, keeps you from getting all dirty and uh, wet from the from the from the rain um, you can also buy an additional battery additional battery is about 350 pounds so that's quite nice to have that additional so yeah great stuff all around so that's the battery that you can buy additionally um, there is you must you must really go and check out check out the website but there's but there's loads of additional bits and bobs that you can buy for the for the for the bike and that's sort of the the nice thing the nice thing about it you can really go and spec out the bike to your liking and all the stuff is available and it fits on the bike it's pre-checked that it does fit on the bike and that is for me great stuff now just a, just a quick little note about this hooter and bells in general now um I, I ride pretty much daily if the weather is good um, down down to down to the canal and then I do next to the canal I ride and um, even with this hooter and I've you know the the other day I was I was behind someone with their headphones in and I was basically like almost screaming um, excuse me and they just did not hear me how bizarre so so having a a bell or or a, a a loud bike with gears and whatever makes absolutely no difference. You know, a lot of people say, yeah, you know, people people hear you coming when you've got a loud bike or something makes a noise or whatever. It sort of needs to make a a rumble before people actually uh, 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 sort of start starts starts noticing stuff. But very very interesting. So yeah. So many people that I have seen um, does not even flinch when I'm behind them. Um, 
uh, uh, talking loudly. They just listen to their music. Noise cancelling is the future, yeah? <laughs> so this bell and stuff is uh, pretty much useless. Um, in that type of scenario, you know, when, when, when everyone is walking and they don't have anything in, that, that works perfect. Okay, guys, um, that's my feedback about the bike. Um, uh, one, one last thing. So, so um, a lot of um, e-bike manufacturers um, um, uh, 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 basically state range on batteries and stuff. Now, now this is a this is a very much a a, um, a, a, a something that would apply to that specific rider. There's so many. Um, little things that can change your range um, I did now 30 miles on the bike and I'm sitting at 50% um, some e-bike manufacturers if they get down to 15% of the battery then it starts giving you less uh, less less uh, uh, pe pe pedal assist others it makes it 20% or 25% um, with 30 miles on this bike and I'm sitting at 50%, so I'm probably going to get about 40, 50 miles out of this bike in full power assist. Um, for me, that's a very solid range. Um, the, again, the battery charges really, really quick. Or if you want to charge it overnight, so that's also fine. It comes with a nice 2 amp charger. You do get a faster charger as well that you could buy additionally. So all these little things that you can really um, sort of get your package um, put together for something that you like and I always say to the guys you know start with a base bike and then if you uh, really need anything additionally then you can buy the stuff additionally or then customize the bike to your liking later on but get the bike start riding it get a feel for it, what bugs you what don't don't bug you what you like what you don't like about the bike and then buy the stuff um, um, to make the bike your your own. If you need an additional battery, it's quite a big investment. Sometimes I just say, listen, just buy a faster charger. Run the battery till it doesn't hold the charge anymore. Uh, three, four, five years, we don't know. Um, and then just uh, buy a new battery then. It's, 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 uh, it's sometimes, um, you know, if you, but it, again, if you, if you are a type of delivery driver that, that needs the range and the constant um, battery power, then Yes, buying an additional battery makes more sense. But guys, you know, if if anyone is looking for a a a a super well priced e-bike that pretty much the whole family can ride, and this is for me the thing. I can get my wife on there. I can I can get friends and family on there. Anyone that comes and visits, this bike is there for them to ride. And you know, yes, you want to do exercise, but Sometimes you just want to have fun. You just want to get out and explore this beautiful country and um, just, uh, just uh, get some um, assistance <laughs> on the e-bike. So I'm, I'm, I'm super impressed with this package that you are getting on this, on this bike. Okay, guys, if there's any questions about the bike, um, if there's any uh, feedback about the bike, please drop it in the comments below. Um, I'll try and put all the links and details of the bike down in, in the description. Also check out the website. They do do deals as well at the moment. So if you are keen to, to get on, on the action, um, check out the website. Put a, put a deposit down, put a pre-order down and get this bike. They are selling like hotcakes. And I can think so. Now if you are looking for a no-nonsense hybrid e-bike, to cover such a large base, this is the boy for sure. At that price point, it is for sure the bike to actually look at. Okay guys, again, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, again, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.